Allahi barakatuhu. My name is Hina Khan Mukhtar, and I am speaking to you all from my home in Northern California. The Muslim Women's Council asked me to talk about the subject of feeling down or feeling depressed during this whole pandemic experience that we've been going through. And even though we're in the blessed month of Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak to all of you, I know that there are some people who may be feeling down still due to different things that have happened in life, whether it's losing jobs, whether it's losing loved ones, whether it's just an increased sense of anxiety about when this global pandemic is going to be coming to an end. Inshallah, hope is on the horizon. We can see the light at the end of the tunnel, but I know that there are some of us who are still struggling with our mental health. And so I wanted to share with all of you about some experiences I went through last summer, summer of 2020, when I had uh, an experience that I had never experienced before in my entire life, which was crippling depression. And I didn't know what it was like to feel unhappy for such a long period of time. And I didn't know when I was going to come out of that um, zone of depression and anxiety. And I was very, very blessed to be surrounded by good friends and good family members who were all there to support me in my time of need. So I wanted to share some things that helped me during that time in the hopes that you too can find solace and peace with some of these uh, pieces of advice that I was given. I consulted with shuyukh, I consulted with naturopaths, I went to a mental health therapist, and I started exercising more, and gradually, gradually, I came out of my depression and anxiety. And so I wanted to share with so all of you some of the things that have helped me. One was reading the Quran, an English translation and a translation that really resonated with me and uh, was easy to understand, easy to comprehend. And so this one actually comes from England, this translation. It's the Quran that's been translated by MAS Abdul Halim. It's an Oxford world's classic. So I recommend that those of you who are comfortable with the English language that you consider looking at this version of the Quran. Another book that I really got a lot out of was this book called Sacrifice, The Legacy the Legacy of Our Beloved Prophet It's a compilation of hadith about the struggles and hardships of our beloved Prophet and realizing that we're not the only ones who may be going through hard times. The Prophet went through very difficult times and he dealt with those times with a lot of sabr and a lot of shukr, a lot of patience and a lot of gratitude. It's easy to tell each other to have patience and to have gratitude when we're feeling down, but we shouldn't be ashamed of seeking help when we need it um, for our mental health and for our physical health and also for our spiritual health. And so it, it behooves us to learn from the life of the Prophet There was another book which I've given away to a friend who suffered a tragedy recently that I also recommend that helped me a lot. It's a book called Hidden Blessings and it's a compilation of hadith um, about the hidden blessings between uh, the hidden blessings behind trials and tribulations and calamities and difficulties. It's a book by Malana Shafali Tanwi and it's translated by um, Sheikh Tamim Ahmadi. So that was a book that helped me as well. Another book I was recommended to read that helped me change my my life a little bit is called Spark. It's the revolutionary new science of exercise and the brain. It's by John R. John J. Rady, an MD, and this book helped me to understand how important it is to get outside and to be moving, to be out in nature, and to get our blood work going, our heart rate going, and that can also help pull us out of depression. So um, this is another book I recommend. And then another thing a therapist recommended to me that I really got a lot of benefit out of was journaling. I journaled a lot about how I was feeling during those days. And so things about my epiphanies that I was having, things I was learning, quotes that really inspired me in the Quran or from the Hadith or from pious predecessors. Now when I look at my journal and I look back at how I was feeling last year, I'm, I'm surprised that I was ever in such a dark place and I'm so grateful to have come out of it. And journaling can help you get your thoughts cleared up. And of course, we can't forget 
um, finding time to be alone and to do our dhikr. We all find comfort in different areas. Some of us like find our strength being with people. Some of us find our strength being alone. So being alone and doing our awrad, our daily litanies, is very important. And also being with people, calling friends and relatives, a few people, not a lot, one or two people whom you trust who can be there for you to be a good listener, to talk about your struggles. And then the last thing is, alhamdulillah, I didn't need medicine. Um, those of you who do need medication for your mental health, you don't need to be ashamed of that. I, however, found a lot of benefit in this um, dietary supplement called ashwagandha and you should ask your uh, naturopath or your doctor if it's okay for you to take this dietary supplement. It just helps calm your mind and makes you feel better and helps you have a good night's rest. So we don't know, you know, everything we're learning in life, in our deen, in our religion, in our studies, we feel like when the trials and tribulations come, we're going to know exactly what's expected of us and how we need to behave. But sometimes anything can knock us off track and surprise us. And so it's important to set us ourselves up for success. And inshallah, those of you who are feeling down this Ramadan, inshallah, you will find success by turning towards your Lord and getting the right help and support you need from your community around you. And it's important to know that you're not alone and there is light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm wishing you all much success and much tawfiq. Ramadan Mubarak.